Bloomberg has learned a single oil trading firm is fueling a price rally in the U.S. physical crude market. At these higher levels, American crude is quickly becoming too expensive for buyers from Asia to Europe who have relied on the U.S. as the supplier of last resort. Brent currently trading at $93 a barrel, so taking something of a breather after crossing that $95 a barrel level earlier this week. Let's get the detail then on this story in this trading house linked to Total Energies and how this is all playing out with Anthony Di Paola from Bloomberg in Dubai. Anthony, what is the significance then of this trading tactic for the broader market? What's been going on? Yeah, good morning. Uh, yeah, basically, it's been driving up some of the uh, U.S. linked crudes there. As uh, this uh, trading company linked to Total does make these purchases in the United States, uh, and and what it's doing there is, is as you rightly said, making that U.S. oil more expensive for buyers in Asia and Europe, as they need to factor in also those uh, transport costs in terms of getting that the oil on that longer voyage. Uh, buyers uh, in Europe, in Asia, are needing that oil because we're seeing those cuts in a lot of the Middle Eastern grades as OPEC plus reduces supply to try to stabilize the market and bring prices up. So uh, strangely we are seeing also the differentials on those Middle Eastern oils which are usually heavier and, and more sour so a little bit harder to refine than the lighter US oils. We're seeing those differentials going up vis-a-vis -vis the Brent and the WTIs in the market but we are seeing uh, this trading uh, t tactic pushing those U.S. barrels higher, and that is creating higher cost throughout the market now. Anthony, good morning. Yesterday, we talked about how this move in oil is looking to steam stretch. Now, I'm a complete macro tourist when it comes to the oil market, so I want you to tell me why I'm wrong. For me, I just look at all these kind of technical indicators, like backwardation getting to a complete extreme, like that the trend just going very long, like those flip-floppers in the market all suddenly getting excited about fresh bullish calls, and like these idiosyncratic stories like you're talking about at the moment, where these niche stories manage to drive the price so far because there are these price dislocations. All these things, to me, scream like a market that is at at least at a tactical short-term turning point and is likely to weaken it in the short term. Tell me why I'm wrong because I'm a macro tourist. Yeah, I mean, the view has been that it should tighten, the market should tighten and should go higher uh, towards the end of the year. So that's what we're starting to see. Uh, OPEC Plus has been reducing uh, supply for, for months now, and we've seen these additional cuts from uh, mainly from Saudi Arabia. They're taking an additional million barrels a day off the market on top of what they're doing for OPEC Plus, uh, and they're going to keep doing that for the end of the year. So we're kind of seeing those cuts which have been in place having that impact of undersupplying the market, and that means we draw crude out of storage. So we saw yesterday some uh, U.S. indicators showing that uh, some of the, the, the oil storage in the United States had been drawn. Uh, so that's usually a bullish factor. Today, of course, we are seeing that pause as investors wait on the central bank decisions. But uh, in terms of the market, what we've seen is that uh, lessening of supply, and, and that's been tightening the market, and the expectation is that the market will tighten. We did see demand at an all-time record uh, already this year. Uh, so that demand factor is uh, the question mark. You know, people do look at China and say, well, is that economy weak? Is that going to impact things? China has been buying a lot of oil and uh, putting many barrels into storage. So when could they start drawing on, on that oil? That's a potential risk as well. Uh, but China is still growing in oil demand. It's just growing a little bit more slowly than people had expected, than some of the, the oil companies and traders had expected. And so that's what had been slowing down the market. But we're seeing those things tighten up. Uh, the uh, economy is a potential headwind. If we do see increased tightening and that hurts the economy, that is a risk, and that's what producers and traders are worrying about.